gotcha. That's good to know. Uh, so let's talk about this map area, uh, sorry, map everywhere concept. Uh, because the Wingtra is a VTOL, I think that many people, most people would know that stands for vertical takeoff and landing. Um, I mean, why why would you say that it allows you to fly more places? Can you just give kind of a brief background, you know, of layman's term on VTOL flight? Yeah, so what happens is, I, I think for most of the demos, once they look at the data, they're all excited. Most of the demos, people just want to see it take off and land. <laughs> so it's a, it's a real, it's a really interesting process. So it, it shoots straight up and then it transitions into a horizontal flight. And then when it goes into a horizontal flight and then it will loiter or go in circles till it gets to the right altitude. And then you're flying at the most efficient uh, manner that point and then once it's done collecting its uh, data it comes back it returns to a vertical position and comes down what that does is creates a, a pretty small area of landing <laughs> which is about you know under two meters so you're looking like six to seven feet radius uh, that you're looking at where this thing is going to land. So if you're in a tight area, like in this picture, it's a trail yard, uh, forest lanes, we have a really some really good use cases on our website based uh, where the like Cal Fire was using uh, our drone. And they only, hit, because of the tree size, they weren't able to use other uh, fixed wing drones. And because we're able to take off at very small areas, like it really helped us. And we, and we do a lot of testing in the the Swiss Alps, and a lot of those roads are actually pretty small, so there's not a ton of places to take off. So that's kind of where a lot of it came from. 